Thanks for checking out this question from our daily live Zoom calls. Please like and subscribe to keep learning how we help the largest online community of self-directed retirement investors and entrepreneurs grow and control their retirement funds. Here's any advice on naming the trust. Does the name of the plan you provide need to include my name? Is there any reason or benefit of obscuring the name of the plan? Trustee owner. Okay, great question. So let's take a look at our online application. So it's right there on our website, mysolo401k.net, under solo401k. Click on open account. You've got 10 simple questions. Once, these, uh, once this application has been, you just fill it out. You click send, make payment, and that'll put you in the queue for us to prepare the plan documents to establish the plan within the same day or 24 business hours. So the last question here says, provide the name that you would like to assign to your new solo 401k trust. So here we're saying use two words in the word trust. So trust is, the, is a great word because it's an accurate word, right? A solo 401k is a retirement trust. You want to avoid words such as family because this is not a family trust. Avoid words such as living because it's not a living trust. You generally want to avoid using your name. Well, technically you could. Most clients find that it, they, they don't want to use their name for privacy purposes, right? Because remember, a lot of folks are using the, our 401k plan to invest in alternative investments like real estate. You may not want the tenants to make a direct connection between this property and you personally, right? So you can really use any two words, right? It could be a derivation of your business name if you have a formal business uh, name, a formal business entity, <clears throat> or it could be something totally different, right? It could be the street that you grew up on. It could be your favorite mascot or favorite color, right? It really could be anything under the sun um, subject to what, you know, just the other kind of limitations we talked about, right? So hopefully that helps. So that'll be the name that we'll use to draft the plan documents. That'll be the name that would be used on the EIN application. That'll be the name to, to use to prepare the paperwork to open up new accounts. That'll be the name they'll use to make investments, right? So given for all those good reasons and for all those purposes, that's why we take the approach that we do.